here we are. We How sure glorious. are. <laughs> we sure are here. Welcome to the Tea Kettle, Woo! episode six of the Tea Kettle. Hello. Hello to all of our lovely listeners. Remember, this is a podcast exclusive to our Patreon backers, and this whole thing cannot be done without them. So thank you, dear listener. Thank you so much for uh, contributing to the show. You are helping us literally complete the show. (laughs) Like you, your Patreon is going directly towards uh, all the finishing funds that we need post-production. So this is so helpful. Uh, I'm your host, Sandeep. Uh, the executive producer and cast member who plays Ash. Now, usually we have Omar on this, but he couldn't make this one, sadly. But luckily, there's that's where we have the redundancy, okay? So there's two two hosts, because he's a busy busy guy. He's a busy, successful man. That's production-minded um, right there. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, <clears throat> and uh, we're going to get to whose voice that is, or face, depending on how you're consuming this episode, in just a moment. Because... After every episode, but first I want to say, after every episode of Daisy Quest is launched, we're going to release this, another episode of the Tea Kettle with me and Omar and some special. Did I say 106? I said six. You said, episodes. You said 106. I was like, oh, you didn't do the first one. That's interesting. I, th- this is how my brain is working right now. Uh, welcome to episode seven of the Tea Kettle. <laughs> um, uh, rewind, rewind. Uh, welcome to episode seven. This is our penultimate episode of the Tea Kettle. So, Though we say in the episode that this was the final episode, that's because we decided to split episode seven into two parts. Um, and so we will have yet another episode of the show and another episode of uh, the tea kettle. This episode, and, and so every episode we have somebody from b- b- in front of and behind the camera. In this episode, we've got two great folks. We got Joey Rasul, RDP. Welcome, Ooh, Joey. Hello, everybody. Hi. Yeah, thank you for yes. having me. Here's what I have. Joey is a UK born content creator and producer. He focuses on cinematography, YouTube strategy and motorsports and does a lot of stuff in the TTRPG uh, space. Uh, he's worked for over a decade here and pioneering for small production companies as well as uh, established media outlets. So welcome, welcome Joey to the pod. It's going to be exciting to get your, uh, your take and your point of view on everything. We're thank you. Yeah. Thank you for having me. And then, of course, once again on the tea kettle, reprising her her, her role on the tea kettle is Anjali Bimani. I mean, she's what well, you've been in. Every, you, you're winning awards. You've yeah. been on the stage. You've been on the screen. You've been on Broadway. You've been on Miss Marvel. You're Symmetra and Overwatch, Rampart and Apex Legends. Yeah, but most of all, and most importantly, and all that I personally care about, <laughs> is that you that really are is all I care incredibly. About too, right now. Put, <laughs> Portraying yes. Sitara in Daisy Quest. Anjali, I love her so much. Yeah. I love our characters in this game so mm. much. Fun. Yes, me too. And before we dive into episode seven, you know, do that thing where you drop a like and a comment, and that other thing where you like share with somebody that you love this show. Um, sh- because uh, this whole yes. thing is sharing is caring, it's, it's free. Just cost you a little time. Shoot an email. I'll be like, "Hey, I really love this Daisy Quest thing. Check it out. Go, you know, uh, send them our playlist from YouTube. Um, be like, you know, just do that thing where you guilt them into yeah. um, joining the Patreon. That is trick the uh, algorithm into loving us. It would be very us. Indian of you to do that. So I feel yeah. like that's <laughs> exactly. uh, appropriate to the show. I'm sorry if you I haven't have already. Head over to here because I'm I'm, I'm jealous of your um, microphones and I'm looking for something to plug something else in because. I am apparently uh, not Yeah. A well, listen, you t- take take your time because I got a, I got a few more little announcey things. So you can do that. Just, you know, uh yeah, yeah, do your thing, Anjali, no worries. So, if you haven't already, head on over to daisyquest.com. You got to hop on that mailing list and then immediately you're going to get an email back that gives you a desc- discount on our merchandise, our t-shirts and our sweatshirts and um zip-up hoodies and uh what else do we have on there? Um I think it's mostly apparel right now. But uh, but it's oh, and then we have all the 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 Kickstarter rewards that we are in process. I know a lot of people are wondering where is my goddamn Kickstarter reward. We are working on them. We're releasing them. We just released the soundtrack. The soundtrack is incredible. Oh, it's so good. Um, it's it's really good. Yeah, it's really special. Um, you know, there were nearly a dozen artists working on this. Uh, obviously, John Piscatello and Alok Mehta are composers, oh, but they also enlisted you know, all of these uh, double players and 
Bambansuri flautists. And uh, yeah, so we have like traditional legit, um, you know, instru instru instrumentation um, from South Asian artists. And uh, yeah, so we're super, super proud of it. I mean, not, I don't know any other TG TGRPG that does. <laughs> does right, exactly. Music, yeah, that's that's an, an insane, like above and beyond thing. Um, you know, like we, we were talking about a little bit a while back that, you know, some TTRPGs that are, will use game music and things like that. You start to hear that game music in real life and then, you, you know, mm -hmm. you kind of disassociate with it a little bit. But having custom music and listening to that soundtrack will ever, forever be related to Desi Quest. So yeah. if you guys got that soundtrack, then we don't mess around. Ride those memories with us for, for years we to come. Yeah, we don't mess around. Like, you know, when, when, when I put that out as the, um, like the kind of the the the, the base reward that you mm. get if you contribute at the eleven dollar or above level for the page uh, Kickstarter, I I think people were, I don't know, people were probably just like ah, oh, it's just a sound, like you're just gonna get some like a playlist, yeah, yeah, like a playlist or something. It's like no, 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 we we yeah. we, yeah. we we meant like uh, this song and, from The Witcher, yeah. this song from yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> this is like a legit soundtrack. And by the way, you can actually, if you missed out on the reward, you can purchase it. Um, so you can purchase the soundtrack. Um, it's obviously for a little more than what people kicked in for the thing because you know that makes sense, right? Um, I, um, if you kickstarted it, you get the discount. Can I share the fun yeah. fact about Alo and I and our please? Uh, oh yeah, so, um, you can. You can. Go ahead. No, please tell me. I saw a butt. I heard a butt. I'm gonna stay quiet. I, there was a butt, and then there was another butt that followed up that butt, oh, which canceled out the two butts. So, so many the butts were canceled. You're on. So You're many on. Butts on this podcast. Um, so All the butts. Alok, just so you guys know, like the depth of the love that we have for Alok Mehta, Mehta. Um, Alok and I were in a show together called Bombay Dreams back in 2004, she says convincingly, 2003. Um, and it was the mm -hmm. first big Indian splashy musical on Broadway. And he, we have known each other and loved each other and watched each other grow over the years. And I'm ever since then he's 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 such an extraordinary musician and i'm so grateful that he joined us for this project because he, i feel like he's like my little brother even though i don't think he's going to do it alok and i really bonded over at pax unplugged i um, remember that that was a he good was time. my party he was my party buddy yep. <laughs> we, we really had a great 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 time with him um as we, we were cracking he was absolutely cracking me up the entire time um as we floated around and his wife is together. an extraordinary and actress and singer as well so the two of them together yeah so we were they so lucky to have his talent we're so... <laughs> isn't that beautiful come on i mean that's like listen that's 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 the stuff. I was there. That's I would the be on you watching them grow, even when i was only right it might, it might have even had a, like a slight hand in it you know who's I to say I might have, I you know, I might have been sending little sneaky messages. I I can't neither confirm. <laughs> Matchmaker, oh that maybe that's the evolution of the character for for subsequent seasons. Is, Absolutely. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe Sitara turns into Indian matchmaking, only actually successful <laughs> yeah. at her job. It feels like a love you <laughs> thing, but like I can see it's being Sitara too. All right, yeah. well this is great. Um, we we before we get into this. Into, into the actual episode we do there's a lot of a lot of sponsors that took a big chance on us to make the show possible so in each of these we always shout one of them out. so we're going to shout out today black magic design um they i mean already first of all their name is black magic so we were already like in a magical <laughs> yeah. realm and universe so this is perfect so they they actually provided the cameras uh, for the show or some of the cameras for the show and we boy did we need a lot of cameras for this to get all that coverage like, mm -hmm. like I think this is another unusual thing about TTRPGs is getting as much coverage as we did you know you're not just getting like two sides of the table and the D the DM you're, we're also getting individual shots of each of the characters and there was like cool down the line shots and yeah. stuff on the tables yeah so I'm glad we have jo Joey here to talk talk a little bit about um, you know your experience with the black magic cameras and you know again so kind of them to take a chance on us and lend us those cameras yeah uh, yeah yeah um Talk absolutely so like yeah we were uh i think we had six cameras um three yeah. static two roving and then the top down plus all the uh the mini shots um that that were all uh you know kind of done separately as well to kind of help tell mm -hmm. the story uh and black magic cameras black magic's kind of one of the only people out there making 
broadcast style stuff for uh, an affordable uh, kind of streamer mentality. Yeah, 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 Mm -hmm. absolutely. Mm -hmm. And so like it really helps out things like, you know, uh, local churches and stuff like that, that want to be able to, you know, stream, uh, you know, kind of service and, uh, you know, uh, schools that are doing, you know, their, their football, uh, program and things like that. So they are so good at helping, uh, you know, small growing, uh, outfits and, uh, you know, giving you all those, you know, professional tools without having to, you know, spend the money and, you know, go, go deep into the budget. So let, luckily I already had, uh, you know, three black magic cameras, uh, on mm. my own. And so they provided the, the rest of them to help us out and to, uh, to put the whole production together. So we were yeah. really able to like, you know, pull just, it all together. Just one of those little things that really allows us to take the funds that we saved and and put it back into the show um and get even you know like again we were supposed to i think i mentioned this we were supposed to only shoot one day of minis that's what we budgeted for we ended up shooting three days of minis and it was stu- it was like little moves like this and i, I mean i should maybe little is the wrong adjective but it was yeah. maybe unexpected moves like this that really uh, help, help make, make that happen and i think you know have really ma- made the show what it is um I mean, we had a top-down camera that you know we weren't sure we were gonna have we able to get for this yeah. we had two, the, the couple shoulder mounts right so that you guys could um because like it was the other thing is that we needed a lot of versatility because we had this whole tea kettle set up right so the tea yeah. kettles and like we could go to the like as players we could go to the tea kettle at any point now from a production standpoint that's pretty scary um, or that's that, that 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 that's a variable that you really have to take into consideration because if we're like constantly asking for boons and jumping into there it's like yeah. oh man breaking down your setup bringing it over to the tea kettle every single time would have been super so challenging can you, can you speak yeah. to that a little bit yeah. yeah absolutely so we had two camera operators phasia and leo who were at a moment's notice able to come off of their tripods and you know shoulder up those cameras and then stick the cameras in the side of of the tea kettle and go from you know tripod operating uh to handheld and follow you guys in and uh anything that we can do to kind of streamline the the process for you guys so that it feels seamless and that you're not um, like you're not being pulled out of the moment is always fun for us. Cause we can like, one of my favorite things is always like feeling like we get to play along as well. That's why, you know, we mm. have that transition, you know, that's why like the camera operators have the freedom to go like find, uh, moments and like you look at faces that are that are really interacting with a scene and that's why you know you've got the lighting changes the way you do like um it's it it's really just that all of us want to be on at the table with you guys uh and i'm sure the audience as well so you know we're we're trying to blur those lines and bridge that gap as much as possible Hey, so sorry to interrupt, but the rest of this episode is for our Patreon subscribers only. So if you'd like to hear the rest of this juicy conversation, let me tell you, it gets juicy. There's another 50 minutes, 50, five zero of this conversation over at patreon.com slash Thank you so much for supporting the show.